Hello again, everybody. I'm Matthew White, and welcome to another edition of FYI, right here from the Real Estate Channel Studios in Vancouver. I'm pleased to have in the studio with me today from Sea to Sky Premier Properties in Whistler, our actual first Whistler guest on the show, Craig McKenzie. Thanks for coming on, man. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Why do so many people look to Whistler as a potential place to buy? You hear it in the news. It's all over the place. I think it's too... Two main reasons. One is people can combine a love of recreation, a uh, place to escape from the city, and people who have owned in Whistler over a long period have done well on capital appreciation. It's amazing the changes that have taken place up there where it was before geared pretty well primarily towards winter sports and now they've converted it so there's a winter and summer aspect as well. The, the, the biking aspect has taken over as well. Very much. This year for the first time the um, mountain bike visits on uh, Whistler Mountain and the bike park surpassed the number of golfing visits. So it's uh, taken a real turn. Now for those that are thinking about Whistler as potential investment, the general premise seems to be it's very expensive. Is that the case? Well, I think a few years ago you might have said that, but Vancouver prices have uh, caught up with Whistler, um, so that you're seeing, you know, one bedrooms typically in the village, they're starting in the threes and fours. Now, of course, we are all aware that the Olympics are coming up, 2010 Games. How is that going to affect Whistler, where I know some of the venues will be taking place when it comes to pricing and it comes to expenses? Um, I think that we're... After the announcement of the games, we discovered that the market stayed flat for a while because I think people um, wondered how they were going to make money to justify prices for uh, an event eight years away for right. three weeks. So, um, but I think uh, the market bobbled since then, a little bit up, a little bit down. Um, we're starting to see a rise right now. Uh, if you look to Park City, which is where the skiing events were held in Salt Lake, um, they've seen some 15 to 25 percent appreciation still this far out from their games. It seems that a lot of people think Olympics, huge price increase. But I, I've spoken to people that, as well that think there may be a nominal increase, you know, leading up to the games and maybe a nominal afterwards. Do you see any giant movements in that area? Um, I, I don't think so before the games. And certainly during the games, if somebody wants to sell or buy, it'll be impossible because of the security. Right. And in fact, the Folks from Salt Lake told us to take six months off and right. enjoy the games. Um, but I think after the games, um, Whistler has a very high recognition factor among skiers. But in California, for instance, um, our, against, in the general population, Whistler has a, about an 18% recognition factor. So I think you'll see that the numbers of people that will be attracted to Whistler after the games will be wider, and I think that will push pricing. Now, I heard that the prices in Whistler had actually been declining or had declined over the past few years. Is that truly the case? I think, um, in particular, one style of property, the, the hotel commercial um, with the restricted use, did decline. Um, we had a couple of bad snow years, and the returns on them declined. So those products tend to follow a little bit more the revenue. But the general market just, you know, sometimes some things were hot and they went a little bit above what you might expect, and other times it, it was soft. What are the rules when it comes to having a rental property to help pay for your mortgage or using it as a rental property? Well, and by both lift bases, the Whistler Creek and in the village, it's set up so that you're allowed to do nightly rentals. In the rest of the valley, because of the community, um, they try and restrict nightly rentals because people don't want the 4 o'clock in the morning hot right. tub party when the kids have to go to school at 8. Um, so, but in the village, you can nightly rent. Um, it's set up that you can manage that yourself. There are property management companies that will do it. So it's how, how you want to do it. And when it comes to development, you know, as it is in the downtown core of Vancouver, there's only a finite amount of space. Whistler is a bit different because there's, there's a lot of space up there, but how much development do you see actually happening there? More development in the future. The community has, as a community, decided um, that we want to restrict the development because the concern is the more development, the more you change the environment that everybody's there for. So we're very close, actually, to being at our build out. Now, it is a community decision that could be changed, but I think the sentiment definitely in Whistler is that uh, not a lot um, of more building will be allowed. The Olympic Village will go to employee housing because we do have a problem making sure that we can provide the service levels. Right. But I think that um, you know, there's a few developments still to come on, but not much more product. With a lot of realtors that I find, 
they buy properties, they sell properties, they work with their clients. But if to be up in Whistler, you really have to be involved with everything that's going on up there. Now, is that just the case for you, or do you go above and beyond and throw yourself into those things? Well, I think that um, you definitely need to be based in Whistler because there are um, obviously the different uh, styles of real estate. And certainly, um, you know, I'm very involved in the community. I was on the town council. Um, I've been involved in the local tourist association. So I have a really good knowledge of what's going on uh, within Whistler. Say I was planning on actually starting a business up in Whistler. What type of rental rates am I looking at? Um, right now, uh, the rental rates in the village itself, you're starting in the 60s and up for prime. Um, for less than prime, you're looking at $40 a square foot. So that's per square foot per year. And then there would be building operating costs, typically in around the $20 a square foot. Greg McKenzie from See the Sky Premier Properties. Thank you very much for coming on the show. Thank you. To phone Craig directly, phone 1-604-932-4117. Or visit his website at www.seadiskypremierproperties.com.